fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. This is the fishing report for the first week in April. As you know, you guys know, I do a weekly report every week. Um, I get a lot of my information from friends and guides, and I work in the tackle store, so I hear what's going on every day. Okay, I put out two videos a week. On Monday, I put a regular video, and on Wednesday, I do the, these reports. So please like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, and it'll help my channel out greatly. So on this first report of April, my weekly report, the biggest thing is the weather change, starting to warm up. So all the fish are starting to turn on, all the fishing, up in the lakes, up in the Sierras, in the Delta, in the river, everything's starting to turn on right now. Hey, so right now, striper, the action on the striper is on fire. So first, probably the last couple of weeks, we had a lot of um, small males come in because they usually enter the system first. You know, we were out there last week catching a lot of 15 to 22 inch stripers. And then this last Saturday, those big ones started to arrive. So I had quite a few friends that were out this Saturday and there was a lot of fish in that 12 to 20 pound range caught. Um, Michael, the other system manager at the store, he caught one over 20 and he had one straighten out a hook at the boat that said was well over 30. And what they're doing is um, right now, they're catching a lot of these big ones on topwater lures. They're using either a IMA, a topwater, or your pencil popper, and you wanna use the largest one that you can find. So the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish you're gonna catch. Another go-to bait you could catch them is a plastic, I use Z-Mans, and I glue them onto a half ounce Strike King head and those are probably one of the go-to baits where if you don't care whether you catch a lot of you know those fish in that keeper size up to eight pounds that's probably one of the go-to baits you could probably throw a jerk bait and catch them um, another top bait is a s waiver and i prefer to use a smaller one with the uh, uh, bone color is my number one choice and those are your top four, three or four lures that you could go out right now and catch a lot of stripers. The action's been really good. Um, I like to fish these big flats. So you could be in Frank's Track, Sherman Island, Big Break, Liberty Island. They're all decent areas to fish. And I basically keep my boat in two to five feet of water. So I had a chance to test these prototype flutter spoons from Blade Runner Tackle. Um, Rick, the owner of the company, he actually gave me some to try. I was doing a video up at Berryessa on the bass fishing with uh, spoons. And I put that flutter spoon on there and I started catching a lot of bass. And I was fishing it in 25 feet of water. So I knew that it worked deep. So. You could look at that video, it's been posted, I think I did it about a month ago, and you could see that I was catching these fish one after another in 25 feet of water. Then I was out striper fishing like two days after that, and I was in this big flat area, and I picked up that spoon. We were catching stripers, you know, up to about 10 pounds, and I picked up that flutter spoon and I made long casts, and I uh, started to have really good success with it. Caught three over 20, one, the biggest one was about 25, I lost one over 30 at the boat. And this video will be coming out shortly, so keep an eye out for it. So bass season is here. It's actually starting to heat up pretty good. If you look at this last video I did the other day, I actually analyze and show you how I do it. So I pick up a different rod at different trains, but I basically teach you how to catch bass this time of the year in the spring. Another good thing right now is halibut in the bay. It started a little early. 
Um, Tanner, one of the guides that reports with me, has been catching a lot of fish in that keeper size to 15, 16 pounds. They're a little early this year. There's no live bait receivers open yet. So you gotta use tray bait. So when you use tray bait, instead of drifting, I suggest that you throw. So you're gonna use a, a dodger about eight inches long. And it seems to be white or chartreuse has been the choice of colors. And then you wanna run a leader with your, um, about a one octopus hook with a little treble. And you put it in the lip of the anchovy and then put the treble in the back. And the leader wants, should be one and a half times the length of the dodger. Then you're gonna run a spreader with about an eight inch drop and you'll use anywhere from probably four ounces to 12, depending on how deep. But most of the fish are being caught in six to 20 feet of water. And South Bay's been the best place. So one of the things coming up real quick is gonna be shad. And Quay, a friend of mine, was out Saturday. No, he was out Sunday. And he was at anchor just below the mouth of the American. And when he called me in the morning, he already hooked 15. And they're all little males, so you know they're probably in the system pretty thick. So probably in the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be wide open. So for shad fishing, you wanna use um, little Big Daddy one inch pink champagne or chartreuse grub on a 1 seconds jig head. And I like to drop shot. So I put the sinker on the bottom, I go up about a foot, use about a six inch leader, and then go up another foot, put another one. And I usually use a pink one on the bottom and a chartreuse on top. And whatever one they bite, I put both the same color. Because once you find the seam where they're at, you want to fish in anywhere from 12 to 20 feet of water. And it's better to anchor up and then just pitch it out behind you. And once you find that seam, you'll catch the heck out of them. And that's right around the corner. One of the things, uh, one of the guides, um, Troy Barr, he's up at Berryessa, and he's been catching um, landlocked kings. They've moved up a little bit, the lake's never turned over, but he's catching them in around 45 to 55 feet. He had one um, close to seven pounds the other day, but all the fish are in that four to six pound grade. And they're catching anywhere from five to eight fish a day. So if you want to catch Landlock King, head up there. You could also go back, look at my videos, and I do it with the gets it, but it's not a good way to do it. When they're that deep, you want to troll for them, and then you want to use a, about a five or six inch dodger and a pearl hoochie, and then go look at my videos, how I cured the bait, and put a little strip of anchovy or herring on there and you could go out there and catch them right now. Don Paganelli's been up at Folsom Lake catching a lot of bass. I heard um, he was in one cove and saw a lot of cruisers, so they're getting ready to bed. So the fishing is real good. So, But if you go catch those bed fish, turn them loose because they're the ones that are going to be giving us all more, a lot of babies out there. One of the other things happening is uh, Big Al's been going to Comanche for the last three weeks. He's been taking clients up there. They've been catching their limits most of the time before 10 a.m. He's trolling a speedy shiner. He's getting them in anywhere from five to 20 feet down. And he's trolling about, with speedy shiners, you wanna go about three to four miles an hour. He sets it on a downrigger, sets it back about 100 feet and on your way. And then he's been pulling on top line in the morning. He uses a scatter wrap Rapala and a size seven, and he's trolling that just up on the top, and he's also catching trout. And the trout are in good grade. They're nice shape. They're anywhere from two to four pounds. So Comanche is another place that you might want to try. Also, um, a friend of mine, I think it's his granddaughter, Pete's granddaughter, Megan, shot a nice turkey. So turkey season is open right now. So if you get a chance, it's springtime, you could actually call them in. Um, I went out with my grandson and shot one with a pellet gun. So turkey season's here.
So we're throwing the big topwater lures to try to get those big fish roaming around because what they're doing is they go back in these flats and they go after these what we call squaw fish. You know, they're anywhere from anywhere from six inches to a foot long. Because those big fish, they only want to eat once. So you want to use a big bait. It's easier to fool those big guys, you know, when you're popping it on the surface. Because when they look up, they can't see it. So top water, um, Ima baits are really good. One of the most popular ones and pencil poppers. Okay guys, so if you hit the like, It'll give me an idea that you you're, you like the contents that I'm doing when I make these videos. So that way I know. And then if you uh, hit the subscribe, it lets YouTube know that you know, you're interested in my videos and it, it'll just help me down the road. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Fishing, it's fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.